I'm Lizzie Daston. Welcome to another session of Sidewalk School, appropriately at an actual school. We're in front of a large mural by Annie Priest. Something that I really love about Annie's style is just how playful it is. And this work behind us is an illustrative case in point. She's known for her cartoon imagery, sometimes her unicorns that she is especially regarded for painting. They will vomit rainbows or somehow have a rainbow excrement trailing from their behind. And there's just so much whimsy and humor and silliness. Too often in art, we take ourselves and the imagery that we either make or appreciate visually, we take it so seriously. When I see Annie's work, I'm reminded of the artist that I think is the most significant artist in the 20th century, Marcel Duchamp and how it was such a visual revolution when in 1917, he put a urinal in a mainstream exhibition context. And that kind of launched a whole flurry of discussion of what is art and what about works do we find valuable? Does something have to be so steeped in politics or in culture in order to be resonant? And that conversation, I think, is also really valid when we're looking at Annie's work. She's just so joyful and exuberant, and looking at her work is fun. I always smile. There's always a little bit of subversion of something that is kind of dirty, a cartoon should not be doing. Annie has a very interesting history. For about 13 years, she suffered from drug addiction. She remembers this low that she experienced when she was on Skid Row, high out of her mind, and just had, she had hit rock bottom. And then she noticed that the building that she was in front of was a building where she had previously held an art show. I think that that really shook her into wanting to better her situation and to reconnect with her creative impulses as opposed to the destructive ones. And that happened a few years ago, and she's really reinvigorated herself and used her practice as a means of doing so. Annie always signs her work, Love Annie. This to me is appropriate for a couple of reasons. Number one, it reminds me of that doodle and that childhood naivete of a yearbook signing. Have a great summer, love, comma, Annie. And I think that that sense of play really registers in the imagery, and so naturally, it's going to register in the signature too. I also see it as poignant. Annie is really open about her past as an addict, and that requires a lot of courage and a lot of vulnerability. And I think when she says, love Annie, she's also asking that we love Annie. That is something that I really respond to. It takes a lot of guts to rebound in the way that she has and to do so with such silly, joyful humor. I'm Lizzie, and this has been another session of Sidewalk School.